Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series on objections to Bayesian epistemology. In this video we will be looking at the problem of new theories and a possible solution for the Bayesian. So what is the problem of new theories, you may ask? Well, Bayesian epistemology fails to account for the possible loss of confidence that we can have in old theories when presented with new ones. This is especially the case if a theory's main justification is abductive, or an argument from the best explanation. Abductive teleological arguments that we're going to be looking at very soon are a good example of this. Justifying the claim that there must have been some god to design everything was easy when there was no other explanation of how stars could be formed or how species could be created. When there's no better explanation and that's the best one, there's a lot of good justification there abductively. However, with the introduction of scientific theories that competed with these theories, even though no specific piece of evidence had been discovered, many people decreased their degree of belief because an alternative had presented itself. However, according to Bayesian epistemology, they were irrational to do so, because our degree of belief in the evidence that confirms these theories had not changed, so we couldn't conditionalize. Once again, though, as with some of our other objections, this objection doesn't seem to account for the true power of Bayesian epistemology. If the reason that we hold a theory is that there is no other option, that should be evidence that we can consider. And on the certainty of that evidence, or the probability of that evidence, we should be able to conditionalize our hypothesis. So, take H to be the claim that God created the universe. You have a high degree of confidence in this claim, 0.95. Take E to be the evidence that there are no other competing theories. You also have a high degree of confidence in this claim, 0.96. However, the reason that you have a high degree of confidence in H is because you have a high degree of confidence in E. Your belief in H would be much, much lower if there was another theory out there. So your belief in not E and H is in fact very low, 0.00. .00. One. What does this mean? Well, if we fill in our probability table, we'll see that were you to find out that not E were the case, that in fact there is another theory out there, this would significantly disconfirm your hypothesis, going from an extremely high probability to a much, much lower one. So now imagine that your confidence that there is no other theory, your confidence in E decreases significantly, or maybe all the way to zero, and we can do our original conditionalization instead of a Jeffrey conditionalization. Probably by, in fact, another theory being proffered. This would mean that you should reassess your belief that H from 0.95 all the way down to 0.025 or 0 0.001 over 0 0.04. If we can take other theories being offered as evidence, we should be able to defeat the problem of new theories, at least for abductive arguments in Bayesian epistemology. As I said, note that this response will only work if your original theory was justified by abduction. But surely all hypotheses are confirmed by the evidence that there's not a better theory out there. They might not receive the same drastic change in a degree of belief that we just saw, but they can still be slightly disconfirmed if a new hypothesis is introduced. And also it's important to note that if you're certain in the hypothesis, or the evidence that there are no other theories, nothing, including a better theory showing up, will ever allow you to rationally change your mind about that again. Certainty is therefore impossible, or at least irrational, in Bayesian epistemology, as we've noted in previous videos. That was the problem of new theories. Next up, we are going to be looking at the huge problem of the priors. To me, this problem is substantial enough to defeat and put down all of Bayesian epistemology. It's going to be a pretty complicated and tough video to get through because there's a lot of objections contained within this one idea. So, 
Stay tuned. Watch this video and more here at Cardiades.org. Check out the SEP for more information on all of these objections to Bayesian epistemology and more. And stay skeptical, everybody.